First though, <laughs> yep, it's time for some sport and uh, it's been a big day for cycling enthusiasts. Cycling's Tour of Britain made its way to the West Midlands today for the fourth stage of this year's race. A whole host of the world's top riders, including Sir Bradley Wiggins, started in Worcester and made their way south. Yes, one of the towns along the way was Pershaw in Worcestershire. Our reporter Michael Sibbett went to see what it's like having the UK's biggest free sporting event right on your doorstep. <coughs> A stage four of this year's Tour of Britain began in Worcester, 10 miles away in Pershaw. Final preparations were well underway. Even though the cyclists would surely whiz by in seconds, refreshments were on hand. Would you like to try a sweet mini Ola, sir? The street entertainers were on their bikes. Oh, such a perfect day! And the last minute bunting was being put up. Yeah, we'd like to just tidy up the town a little bit. If we've got some, lots of guests coming, we might, uh, you know, put a good... Uh, could show on for the actual race uh, yeah and let people you know notice our town and then hopefully come back shopping it's been just a few weeks since the route was finalized so Pershaw hasn't had much time to prepare even the town mayor's been helping with some last-minute preparations it's a lovely community here it's just nice to share that community feel with uh, the rest of the country and to show Pershaw at its best uh, it's a wonderful day here. Let's make the most of it. Let's have some cheering and showing Pershaw at its best. Pershaw welcomes the Tour of Britain! Oh, yeah! As the riders approached, the crowds grew, all waiting for a glimpse of some of the world's top riders. Oh, it's been fantastic. The kids have been having a whale of a time. We heard on the radio this morning it was coming this way, so we thought we'd come and try and have a look at it. I actually live in Herefordshire and it's not coming anywhere near there, so this is the nearest place. I've never seen anything like it before. I hope they haven't run out of cheers by the time they arrive. <laughs> Then the police arrived to close the roads, the support cars turned the corner and the moment arrived. The lead group, including Sir Bradley Wiggins. A few minutes later, the rest of the riders provided a more sustained moment to cheer. After all the support cars had flown past, the Tour of Britain was over for this town as quickly as it had begun. For singer and actress Toya Wilcox, it was a thrill to see it in her hometown. It was over quickly, but the excitement was utterly compelling. I have never known Pershaw be so tense with excitement. The streets were lined with children, there was screaming, it was fabulous. They went so fast, they just whizzed through, it was amazing. You're trying to look out for Bradley Wiggins, I didn't spot him, but my husband did. The atmosphere in town is terrific, everybody's turned out. We're very lucky to have great weather. The looks on the faces of those riders as they came through, concentrating, absolutely. And there we were, all waving and cheering, and they were boom, and gone. It's cost £65,000 to bring the tour of Britain to Witchhaven, but today it's expected to be worth more than half a million pounds to the local economy. From here it was on to Evesham, Broadway and Cheltenham, before ending this afternoon in Bristol. It may have been brief, but it's certainly made an impact here. Michael Sibbert, ITV News, Pershaw in Worcestershire. Yeah, great to see so many people having such a wonderful day in Pershaw there, especially the school children. But it was an even better day for Polish rider Michael Kwiatowski. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Um, he uh, crossed the line first today after 184 kilometres. He now leads the tour overall by three seconds. And Bradley Wiggins finished today's stage in 34th, but sits seventh in the overall standings. And you can see how you captured the tour as it made its way through the West Midlands on our website. We've got loads of your photos on there, and it's itv.com forward slash central. And you can see the highlights of the race on ITV4 at 8 o'clock. Now, one in five children has never had their parents read them a bedtime story. To help try to change things, ITV's Good Morning Britain programme is organising Just Read Week. The programme is coming to the Midlands, hoping to set a world record for the greatest number of people reading a book at any one time. Ranveer Singh explains how you can help. Warwick Castle will be under siege this Friday from reading record breakers. The medieval castle will see author Terry Deary reading from his book, Horrible Histories, Measly Middle Ages. Hundreds of families will descend on the castle where parents will read them a passage from the book for 10 minutes. 
all from the same book at the same time. Guinness officials will be there to confirm the record. Leading figures agree learning to read well is fundamental for future success. Children first learn to read and then they read to learn. Yet one in four children are not reading well by age 11. That's over 130,000 pupils a year. And even if, like me, a dyslexic, you despise print, you can still grow to love reading and with the right kind of help, achieve your goals. This is a big concern and that's why we are calling for people to remember how important reading is and to join us. So if you are a parent and you're up and about nice and early with the children and you want to be part of a Guinness World Record, then get in touch with Good Morning Britain at gmb at itv.com by midnight. Come and make history at Warwick Castle. That's a great idea. And uh, if you were reading in bed last night, then you could have done it by moonlight because there was a super moon. And uh, Lucy's with us now in the studio to tell us more about this fantastic was super, site. It certainly super duper, wasn't it? Yes. Did you see it? Amazing. Why? It's not just any old moon, actually, Sam. It's called a perigee moon. Right. That's what it's called, or a harvest moon. And it's at its closest point in its orbit of the Earth. We've actually seen it a couple of times, haven't we, this year, in July and in August. But last night, it it was its final appearance this year and well you've been capturing it on camera just have a look at these pictures they're brilliant the moon was actually 14 percent bigger than usual and it looked even larger if you saw it on the horizon beaming through the trees and over the rooftops it's also known as a harvest moon as i said at this time of year because before battery power farmers would use the super moon to guide them to tend their crops because obviously they didn't have any lights at, at that yeah. point in time so it, it was quite useful and you probably noticed even though the night the nights are drawing in it was really bright yeah. yesterday evening hey it also affects your mood as well so if you were feeling a little bit moody yesterday we know why <laughs> here's your weather <laughs> Hello, well a gorgeous picture for you tonight. Lovely blue sky bursting through the cloud there, some lovely colour. Thank you to David Atkinson for sending us that one. Central weather at itv.com is the address if you've got any pictures you'd like to share with us. Now I just want to show you this pressure sequence because it explains the weather story quite nicely. This high pressure sitting to the northeast is keeping things nice and settled. However, it's moving around a little bit and allowing the cloud to move in from the east. So we are going to see more in the way of cloud as we head towards the weekend but with some breaks and some sunny spells bursting through as well this evening it's not going to be as chilly this evening and overnight as it has been over the last couple of nights lows around seven or eight degrees celsius we're likely to catch one or two mist patches mainly out in the countryside if you're up early enough tomorrow you'll see the mist floating across the fields but that will be quick to clear through the morning tomorrow and then we're in for sunny spells morning and afternoon it's going to remain dry we won't have that wall-to-wall -wall sunshine there will be cloud floating around but it won't be completely grey we will see these breaks in the cloud however it won't feel quite as warm as today highs tomorrow of 18 or 19 degrees celsius and here's how the outlook is shaping up check out our website for more information bye for now <laughs> Looking good, isn't it? Very good. Right, wow. let's, uh, let's end with uh, headlines now in uh, ITV Central. Robbers have got away with £30,000 worth of jewellery from a store in Birmingham in a raid that lasted just 48 seconds. They smashed their way into the selective jewellers and destroyed cabinets with sledgehammers. A man from Warsaw who suffered life-changing injuries when he was mowed down by a speeding driver has joined a road safety campaign. Stuart Fisher hopes a new video produced by West Midlands Fire and Police Services will educate motorists. And the West Midlands played host to the Tour of Britain today. The riders left Worcester this morning as they headed towards the finish line in Bristol. Thousands lined the route to get a glimpse of the cyclists, including Sir Bradley Wiggins. And you can see lots more about that on our new look website, itv.com slash central. We've had a makeover. Enjoy the look and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.